came back from Vegas from my friend's bachelorette party. We had so much fun, but if my voice sounds a little off today, you can probably understand why. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun to share with you some traveling tips because I have traveled quite a bit, as well as some packing tips, whether you're checking in your luggage or carrying on your luggage. We know that can be a lot more challenging, especially for us girls. So I hope you guys find this helpful. Let's talk about going through security at the airport. Here in the States, we have what's called TSA that enforces the security guidelines. So once I traveled to Minneapolis and when I had to when we flew back out, they actually ended up throwing some of my toiletries away, my liquid products, because it was not in a small enough bag. This is the size bag that you are allowed for carry-on, and this is specifically carry-on, um, just in case I didn't make that clear earlier. Some states are more strict about this than others. If any of you know other states that are strict about this, please list them down below. That would help a lot of us out. There is a 3-1-1 rule where each item, liquid, gel, or aerosol, has to be 3.4 fluid ounces or less. It has to fit within a one core zip top bag. And of course, you can only have one per person, so 311. A good tip, because we know that this is already such a small bag for all of our liquids, gels, and aerosols, is you can just separate that, like have only those items in one bag and all your solids and all your other toiletries in another bag. In the event that TSA security checkpoint needs to check your bag, go ahead and put your toiletries right at the top of the suitcase so that they can just zip in and out of it real fast. Whether you do decide to check in your luggage or carry on, if you don't want your liquids to potentially spill out and get all over the place you can also hold you know your bag of toiletries and put it in another plastic bag just for extra assurance you can also bag your shoes because if your shoes are kind of dirty you don't want to touch all of your other belongings so you can put that in a plastic bag as well one last thing when it comes to going through security let's talk fashion let's talk about what we wear so every time I travel I just make sure to not wear any jewelry don't wear a belt this makes the process a lot quicker so that you know when you walk through the metal detector it's not going to go off I also wear shoes that are typically easy to slip on and off and dress comfortably. Who wants to dress uncomfortably for a flight? For the airline that I typically fly on, you are allowed one carry-on luggage that fits within a certain size. It can't be a huge suitcase, as well as a personal belonging. And that could be like a purse, a laptop bag, um, a backpack. I typically like to carry a backpack because I like to have certain things with me. For example, say that I also have another small purse, I can stuff that in here. If you get cold easily, you should have a jacket. And that's also something that I can stick in the bag. I also like to have a spare outfit just in case something happens with your luggage. Sometimes you're required to check in that bigger luggage at the gate because they've run out of room on the plane. So it's good to just have an extra outfit just in case some warm socks if your feet get cold, and you could also pack books or some reading material. Speaking of books, audible.com actually reached out to me to give it a try. I thought what better time than on my travels. So for my flight to the West Coast and back, I was listening to The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. You may have heard of it. It is a highly rave book right now. They're coming out with a movie next month, I believe, and it is like a tragic love story. It's supposed to be a tearjerker. I personally love books and shows and movies that make me cry. If you're the same way, let me know. Um, and let me know if you have any recommendations as well because I definitely would like to read or watch more things that make me cry. <laughs> also, I just recently downloaded The Shining by Stephen King. It's a classic. It's one I've been meaning to read for a while now, so I'm excited to listen to it um, at my own convenience. What's great about Audible is that, you know, in the event that you might not have all the time in the world to sit down and read a book, say you travel a lot, say you have long commutes, you know, you're stuck in traffic or you're on the train, um, it's really convenient to have these books that you can actually listen to off the app on your phone and not have to deal with carrying like a clunky book or your laptop. If you would be interested in trying out a completely free book, you can go to audible.com slash I'll also have that link down below. And just to show you some of the phone features that I think are cool, rewind back 30 seconds at a time. You can also bookmark where you're at and you can slow down or speed up the narration, which I think is awesome too. We rode the tram for three stops. Me leaning over Gus so we could look out the window together. Augustus pointed up at the trees and asked, Do you see that? I did. 
Once again, if you'd like to get a free audiobook of your choice, do check out audible.com slash xdiener. It is a 30-day free trial membership, but you can cancel it whenever you want to. And that is it. Let's get back to it. I have my makeup bag so that I can touch up or I usually fly just bare faced. So sometimes I'll put my makeup on on the plane. A phone charger. So this is like my portable anchor charger that I love. It's awesome because you can just charge this and then use your phone plug and just hook it in and charge it straight from this guy. Another good tip is if you have any uh, glasses case, something like this that's really durable, and you have anything that might be fragile, like jewelry or accessories, you can place it in here. If you have any valuable accessories, I would go ahead and keep that with you rather than check it in. You can also place little items in separate bags so that they don't all end up tangling because that has happened to me a lot in the past. I actually had a little cute like crystal tiara that I placed in here for my friend, the one that's getting married, um, so that you know nothing would get smushed and the rhinestones wouldn't end up falling off. If you have to check in your luggage at the gate or even check it in beforehand, make sure that you don't have any electronics on there. I've lost my luggage before. I've had electronics in my bag and they did not compensate for it. They compensated for the value of everything else except for my electronics. We know how expensive electronics are, so just keep it with you. Lastly, if you are checking in your luggage and your luggage may happen to look like many other people's or has like a color that other people may have, uh, you can tie like a little ribbon or something on your suitcase. I don't know why it took me so long to do that, but this time when I did it, it made things go by so much faster. I did have to check in my luggage this time because I had extra equipment and things I needed for my friend's bachelorette. Um, you know, we actually also threw like a, a quick little bridal shower. Definitely is possible to fit all the rest of my stuff uh, into a smaller carry-on, which I will show you very soon. If there are any other tips that you can think of that I may have not mentioned, please do share down below. Let's now go into packing. So there I have my underwear and I also have a bathing suit just in case. I would go ahead and pack more underwear than you think you need. I also just stuffed in a couple pairs of socks and a belt and an extra bra. And most of my clothes are rolled up. This really, really helps conserve space if you have, you know, a smaller suitcase to pack in and you have quite a bit of different outfits. I was going to Vegas and we had an itinerary where we pretty much had to dress appropriately for it. So I had a lot of different clothes here. But the more delicate, like that chiffon top right there, and I have my dresses and blazer, those I did not roll up. But everything else I rolled up because those will be just fine and I just fit everything in, kind of like Tetris. So going back to shoes, remember to bag each pair of shoes so that you don't get any dirt or anything on the rest of your belongings. There's another clutch there. Have some hygiene products in there as you can see and just a couple pair of more shoes. Those are my solid toiletries right there that aren't like liquid gel or aerosols. My dresses, once again, those are gonna be uh, just laid on top along with my blazer. There are my heels that I wore, just of course plastic bag in that, as well as my one quart size toiletry bag that's gonna go right on top and we're done. We're ready to carry this on. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and go on and head over to my second channel where me and my mom show you how to make Vietnamese papaya salad. It's delicious, you know you wanna click this. Also, a quick little reminder that my Atlanta meetup is coming up this Sunday, May 18th. All the information will also be down below and at my other social media. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!